It is the 4th of July, and where I'm from, we have a saying about the 4th of July. Welcome to America. Let's blow some shit up. What's up everybody and welcome to the Never Empty Bottle. I'm still Tyler and like I said, it's the 4th of July. We had time to get ready, to drink, to grill, to shoot off some fireworks, to do it all. And with that, I thought I would bring you guys an awesome red, white, and blue cocktail to help us celebrate America's birthday. So as I said, we are making a red, white, and blue cocktail. So we're gonna go layer by layer by layer so that we can see all the definitive colors of that amazing American flag. So first layer we're gonna make, we're gonna go ahead and go with the blue layer. So it's gonna go red, white, blue. So blue is first. Everything is being made in the blender today. Um, it's gonna be a kind of a slushy style cocktail. Um, it's gonna be amazing, we're not using the shaker at all. So blue layer first, fill your blender up with ice. Next, you're gonna want some homemade lemonade here. So we're gonna go with, it says a cup, but it's the 4th of July and we don't do no measuring here. So we're just gonna measure with our hearts. One American flag. Yeah. Bloop. Next ingredient we're gonna use is some blue curacao because in order to make this layer blue, you gotta have some blue. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull the top off. Again, it goes for about two ounces, but we're gonna measure with our hearts. So one, two. Maybe one more. All right, so roughly about two ounces. Now we just gotta blend it up. So that looks pretty good and blended to me. We're gonna go ahead and flip the top open here. We're using a mason jar today because why not? And we're gonna go ahead and pour in our blue layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it down the side. Actually, this one I can just pour straight in the middle. A little soupy. Come on, there we go. Get in there. So judging. I might have to drink a little bit of that to give me some more room for the other ingredients, but good enough, blue. All right, now that my blender is good and cleaned off, it is time to make the white layer. Thanks to my awesome team behind the scenes, they cleaned up my blender for me, so let's make that layer. Woo. Thank you, team. Once again, lots of ice. Ice is done, it's time for lemonade. Once again, we're going with a cup here, measure with your fattest heart. One, America. That's about a cup. Now this next part I did not have. It was the red, white, and berry um, vodka. So since I didn't have that on my shelf, I figured let's get creative. We're gonna go with a raspberry and a blue raspberry. Um, both made in America vodka. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do an ounce, about an ounce of each. Blue. One ounce, then another ounce of the blue. You know what? Blue's just gonna go. Oh, there it is. You did your job. I thank you. Then once again, we're putting our lid back on top. Slap it down, power on, give her a good blend. Once again, success with our blender here. That's a fairly, that's, that's white. That's a white layer. So now here's the tricky part. We gotta pour over the top here. I'm gonna put it at an angle so it doesn't just plop straight down in the middle here. So let's go ahead, oh, or maybe I will. All the way around. There we go. And boom! Just like that, we have our white layer. And lastly, it is time for the final and red layer because this beautiful concoction wouldn't be complete without that. So no ice this time. We're gonna go with strawberries. If you have fresh strawberries, do that. These are our frozen strawberries. Kind of meh, meh, a little meh, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that in. Yeah, that's what strawberries should look like. This time we're only going with fourth half a cup of lemonade here, so not the full cup. I think that was about it. And lastly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your vodka of choice here. Um, you can go with the red, white, and berry still if you have some, um, if you don't wanna go with multiple bottles. I thought I'd go with the Rose Svedka bottle here because I thought that'd be kinda cool. So we're gonna go with just about another ounce or so. Bloop. Slap your lid on, give her a good blend. All right, we are done with our final layer. It's time to go ahead and pour it on the top of this. That still looks really nice, so let's go ahead. Oh, 
we'll just ride around. Once we get a base layer, now we can go all the way to the top. Perfect. Just like that, people. And here we have our America slushy. It looks amazing. You have your blue layer, you have your white layer, your red layer, you have all the layers. Feel free to go ahead and grab yourself a straw, put her in there, because how else are you gonna drink this bad boy? Uh, no garnish, I don't think, necessary, other than maybe a ballpark Frank or some sparklers or you know what else you think you're gonna need, but let's go ahead and give her a taste. So to be completely honest, I don't give a damn how it tastes because it looks amazing. That's the point of this drink. Point is just to have fun with it. Do whatever you want. Mix up the vodkas. Mix up the whatever you want to put in there, whether it's wine, it's whiskey, who cares? Drink your favorite drink this 4th of July. Spend it with the people you love and just enjoy the hell out of yourselves, guys. This has been an amazing summer so far. Let's keep it rolling. If you get the chance, then go ahead and like this video, comment away as much as you want, and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for America. I will see you guys in the next video. Drink on!